Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Plasma exchange therapy and we are looking at its indications. So first is, well, let's look at neurology. So in terms of neurology, there is acute gallien bar syndrome, acute gallien bar syndrome, and there is also the chronic inflammatory demyelinating there is a chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy then there is the myasthenia gravis polyneuropathy associated with the para proteinemias or the para proteinemias then also the pandas next we look at the hematology so under hematology there is a thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura thrombotic thrombocytopenic Popura and a typical hemolytic uremic syndrome. A typical hemolytic uremic syndrome. Then there is a hyperviscosity syndromes. Hyperviscosity syndromes. Then there is also the severe and the symptomatic cryoglobinemia. So there is severe as well as symptomatic cryoglobinemia globulinemia next let's look at the renal so if you look at renal there is presence of good pasture syndrome so this good pasture syndrome and there is a ENCA, there is anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies associated with rapidly progressing globular nephritis. Associated with the rapidly progressive glomerular nephritis. And there is the recurrent focal segment glomerular sclerosis. So there's recurrent focal segmental glomerular sclerosis and there is a antibody mediated renal transport rejection there is antibody mediated renal transplant rejection next we look at the metabolic So in terms of metabolic, there is a familial hypercholesterolemia. So familial hypercholesterolemia and the fulminant Wilson's disease. The fulminant Wilson disease. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.